Hey guys, Sarah here, and today I'm going to be talking about building a drum-focused modular system that is pretty portable. Okay, so you're probably wondering why would I want to build a drum-focused modular system and what makes this system the system that I would choose. With smaller systems, it's really hard to work with just analog oscillators, so I think samples can be hugely beneficial. I know a lot of people are like, well, why not use a dig attack or something like that? Well, I think the workflow on here is a world's better than the dig attack, though I do love it. Um, and I just think you think about it in different ways. Modular makes you approach making music in weird ways. But I think this palette is a great place to start. Are there cheaper things you could put in a smaller case than this? Yes, absolutely. The modules that I have in here are not the cheapest modules, but do I think it's worth it to get these specific modules? Absolutely. I think you're gonna get way more variety in your sound, and I think you will be very happy with the sounds that you're able to get from just these few modules. So yeah, let's dive in. So now for a case breakdown. Here we have Pamela's new workout. We have the Squarp Rample. We have Sample Drum by Erica Synths. Then we have the Noise Engineering. BIA, or Basimilis Ceteritis Alter. We also have the Clep Diaz, the Zadar, and a little Malt over here. Oh, and the Intelligel Quadrat, the 1U version, and then just this little fluorescent pink thing that I cut out. <laughs> and I'm using an Intelligel 62HP palette case. Okay, so right here we have Pamela's new workout. Um, I'm using every single out on here as a trigger, and here you can adjust all the different clock divisions for each trigger out. And for those of you that don't really know what clock means, it's basically just like the tempo, um, what you sync everything to. And second, I have the Squarp Rample, uh, which is basically just a sample player. It can play four samples simultaneously. And the samples that are included on it are incredible. It does have an SD card where you can load your own samples if you want. Um, it has cool effects that can be modulated by CV. It has these four gate inputs. So I'm taking the first four outputs from PAMS and putting them into the gate inputs there. And then each of these outs are normal to this mix, which has a volume knob. As for the sample drum right next to it, it's kind of the same idea. It also comes with awesome samples, so right out the bat, you're gonna be able to make a ton of really cool beats, cool sounds, you know? The sample drum um, is usually what I'll use for kick drums or drones, because it comes with great stock drones and really good kicks. Again, you can modulate it with CV. There's two trigger ins and two outs, and an SD card if you do wanna load your own samples. Here we have the Basimilis Ceteritis Alter, or the BIA. I made a whole video making an entire song with this module if you want to check it out. Um, that will do a much better job showing you what it can do rather than me trying to describe it in like 20 seconds. So check it out. This module by Noise Engineering is awesome. And right next to it, we have the Club Diaz, which I'm using basically for modulation to send to the BIA. So if you want to check that out, it will give you a super deep dive into all the things that these two modules can do. And then, last but not least, I have the Zadar and a Molt. And the Zadar is a quadruple envelope generator, and it has all sorts of crazy shapes to modulate your sound with. You can set it to, oops, those are all your different envelopes. You can set it to warp or wrap, I'm not really sure, and repeat infinitely, and you'll just get repeating modulation. So in this case, I usually send the outs for all four of these envelopes, just to the CV in on the Ramble, or the sample drum or the BIA. It's awesome because it's just a compact way of modulating everything in the system. And the buffered malt is cool because you can send any of the triggers to one of these two inputs and then you get three of the exact same thing out. So that's just super useful to have. So last but not least, we have the IntelliGel Quadrat 1U up here. This is cool because you can feed all the outputs in here and use it as a mixer. So yeah, that's pretty much everything in the case and how I'm using it. Thanks so much 
much you guys. I hope you liked my video. I had way too much fun making it. Um, <laughs> I actually had so much fun making it that it was really hard for me to make this video because I just kept making weird beats and I fell into a void and this video took longer than it should have, so. This video was made possible by a Perfect Circuit. You should check them out. They are an awesome dealer for all things synthesizer. Um, and all of the modules that you see here and the other electronic gear that I use will be listed in the links below. Thanks so much for checking it out. Thank you to my Patreon people per usual. You guys are the best and I will see you around.